And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple blur shake effect. It's another effect that's often used in music videos. So I've got a little dance clip right here and some random track. At first you want to find a position where the beat drops or where you've got some prominent detail of the music. Most often it's the bass. Afterwards hold alt and copy your video clip. So it's the same clip on video channel 1 and video channel 2 and then drag the directional blur on the element on video channel 2. It's important that it's the one on top. And now we want to change the blur right here in effect controls. Check the blur length first. We want to use something like 20 to 50, maybe 60. And check the direction. By default it should be 0. You can also use 180 to have it vertical. If you go to 90 you've got it horizontal. But these effects most often use a vertical, so stick to 0 or 180. And by the way, if you can't find these menus, just go to Window, Effect Controls and Effect. Now use the arrow keys to go forward. I like to use two frames. And then use the Cut Tool C to create cuts. But it's always two times with the right key on my keyboard. And then I cut it. And now press V for the Selection Tool. And I select the ones in between and simply delete them. So it switches back from this blur to the regular below, which is on video channel 1, and then it gets blurry again. And this creates this blur shake or blur bump, whatever you want to call it. And now you only have to repeat this procedure for as long as you've got this prominent aspect of the music. You can also randomize it by using different blurs for each of these elements. So you can use 40, 50, then 60, for example. And you can also make it a little bit longer here and there and not use just two but three frames. To make it run smoothly in your preview window you might have to render it. So just go to sequence, render it and then you can see the effect applied. And this is how you can create this blur shake effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.